this video is about zinc. A lot of questions about zinc. What the fuck is zinc? How does it increase testosterone levels? What does it have to do with testosterone? Uh, everything will be covered in this video. All right, I have my notes here. So if I look down, not like ignoring you, I'm just making sure I cover everything. Okay, first and foremost, why is zinc essential for all men? What the fuck is going on? First and foremost, keep in mind that if you have low T, if you're struggling from some kind of energy problem, sex problems, confidence problems, drive problems, passion problems, purpose in life, this and that and the other, might be a deficiency in your minerals or vitamins. Vitamin D, zinc, magnesium. These are the three main ones. I've made videos about them in the past. This one is all about zinc. So it is one of the top three deficiencies in men all over the world. Not just America or Canada, all over the world. Now, low T is a prominent feature of zinc deficiency. You know, you, on average, if you see a man who is low in zinc, he's probably also low in testosterone. Zinc plays that big of a role in T levels. Next, zinc is not just important for synthesis of testosterone. It is also responsible for the storage of testosterone and the secretion of testosterone. Testosterone secretion is obviously important because if you produce it and you store it and you don't secrete any, you can't use it. Okay? So all three. So how does, okay, you might not know this about androgen receptors, but the way testosterone works is it binds to it. So testosterone goes inside the cell, it diffuses. There's nothing taking it inside, it just diffuses in. There's an androgen receptor inside the cell, testosterone binds to it, and then the androgen receptor travels to the nucleus for gene expression and so on. The fingers of that testosterone receptor, the androgen receptors, are made out of zinc. <laughs> Holy fuck. So if you have a zinc deficiency, you may not even be able to transport testosterone because you may have this malfunctioning androgen receptor. And androgen receptor is not just for testosterone, it's also for DHT, it's for all androgen hormones, not just testosterone. So zinc, very, very important. Now, okay, this is, this is also important. Testosterone will never be converted from cholesterol, right? So you may be okay with having a lot of cholesterol in your body, so you can produce testosterone because cholesterol is what is used to produce testosterone. But without zinc, that cholesterol won't be able to produce testosterone. This is the mechanism involved in zinc processing. Now, how does all this work? There's a paper just last year, 2018, in the journal Metabolism. There is a zinc transporter known as ZNT8. There's many zinc transporters, but ZNT8 is an important one. It transports zinc to the Leydig cells where testosterone is produced. And testosterone production happens through the PKA pathway, protein kinase A, don't worry about that name. ZNT7, zinc transporter 7, is also a major factor. The gene, there were genes that were silenced and zinc processing is affected if you silence the ZNT7 gene. So it's very, very important for the functioning the activation, the actual beneficial production of zinc and, and, and what it does for our bodies. That's to keep in mind. Um, also, when they silenced the ZT7 gene, there was an effect on testosterone production. So the ZT7 transporter gene, they're right now doing research on it and they're looking at ways to target that pharmaceutically through a drug and maybe that will help in increasing testosterone levels. Man, motherfuckers are researching this all the time. Um, now, all these low T hypogonadal symptoms, hypogonad hypogonadism is when you have low testosterone, it's just a scientific name for it. All of these, man, it's like stuff growing on my, uh, I'm, in a, I'm in, a, in like a jungle here, there's like natural things that are everywhere, like I can feel them, like stuff like, cartilage or whatever through my phone anyway um, all of these hypogonadal low T symptoms can be cured with zinc trans zinc supplementation zinc transplantation zinc supplementation so they've done studies in athletes they've done studies with people who are not so active you know they're just kind of like couch potatoes and still just changing their diet to include zinc supplementation through pills 
can improve their testosterone levels. So zinc is that important. Um, zinc finger protein, I told you about, uh, it's in involved in the secretion of testosterone, the exact mechanism we don't know about. All right, next, erections and libido. Obviously, the reason zinc is important is because if you have low T and you treat it with increasing your zinc, and I'm gonna get into the zinc foods soon, uh, so you can eat those foods as well, include them in your diet. Obviously, if you have low T, then you're gonna suffer from erections and libido, morning wood, drive, muscle gains. I mean, you're gonna suffer from all that stuff, so zinc is super, super important. All right, now let's get into sources of zinc. Red meat, lamb and beef. Eat that shit, man, grass-fed. Don't eat conventional, don't eat low quality. Eat really good meat, even if it's a little bit. Eat really good meat. Oysters, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, and raw dairy. Man, I've started eating raw dairy lately. Game changer. Like, I just I just literally stopped eating potatoes and rice and all that stuff. And uh, I'll only share this stuff with the Aphrodite Academy, but I'm, I'll tell you too. Um, I eat, I drink raw milk, yogurt, kefir, sour cream, um, and raw cheese every day. It's so good. All my farts are gone. Gut is just clean as a motherfucker. Um, I feel good, a lot of power, a lot of energy. I never get, take a lot of action, a lot of do with the body. I visit Banya twice a week, uh, dance salsa, you know, do these videos, work out every day. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, fuck, I just, it's really awesome, okay? Try raw dairy if you got it in your neighborhood. Okay, uh, okay, how many grams do you need? Okay, 30 milligrams per day is plenty. You can get them from ZMA, Z Z ZMA, I'm sure you know about that. Um, you take it as aspartate when you take it with ZMA. Um, four or five years ago, that's what I did when I was deficient in zinc, now I'm good. Um, you also get magnesium, and I'm gonna cover magnesium in a completely different video very soon. Um, yeah, any, get any good brand of zinc, doesn't matter, don't, there's no good brand, it's just zinc. Just get it, ZMA, I mean. Now, for more information about zinc, increasing your T levels, um, getting that drive back, getting that masculinity back, getting those gains at the gym, all that stuff. You can start reading that in the next two minutes click the links below get those free books man these are hundreds of dollars worth i'm giving them away for free these are amazon bestsellers you can go check on amazon.com if you don't believe me um really really good stuff and yeah just giving it to you so read it and start boosting your testosterone asap and again you want to learn more about the afrodi academy what we do what afrodi is all the ingredients inside all the transformations all of that again Link below, click and have fun. <sighs> Eat those foods, man. Um, look, I've tried all the diets, keto, um, vegan, vegetarian, uh, paleo, everything. And I can tell you right now that it's very hard to get zinc can, you can eat all the sunflower seeds you want. You can take all the ZMA that you want. Because look, ZMA is not bioavailable. It's a pill. right? It's not even a powder or a, or a drink. It's, it's just a pill. It's really difficult to have that absorb into your system fully. So yeah, your zinc may go up. But then there are other uh, ions that will compete and get fucked up a little bit. So I highly recommend lamb and red meat really really good raw dairy and eat good food bro eat really really good food get your blood test done listen if you don't know your zinc levels if you don't know your blood levels of testosterone free testosterone bioavailable testosterone shbg vitamin d zinc albumin magnesium cortisol estradiol like all these tests you need to get done asap prolactin even a lot of guys are high in prolactin. We have members in the Afrodi Academy who, who discover, because they're in the Academy and they have so much support, they discover that they have a fucking, it's not a malignant tumor, but a benign tumor, like a tumor in their, in their brain or a cyst even. 
And then through the help of the Afrody Academy, because we have a lot of experts in thyroid, we have a guy named Ivan from Bulgaria. He's an expert in the thyroid hormone. He's been all over the world, you know, to try to fix his thyroid problems. He also had a cyst in his brain in the pituitary gland, um, and and or the hypothalamus or both. I don't remember right now uh, what it, exactly it was, but he helps us a lot. And so, yeah, man, you can learn all that in the description below. Really, really take care of yourself and measure everything. Numbers are everything, man. Like, don't go for the looks or the what other people think of you. It doesn't matter, man. It's how you feel inside. And numbers don't lie. See ya. Love you, man.